Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about custom subject area in application composer. So let's get into agenda. There are three things we'll discuss: the custom object, and what are steps involved to create the custom subject area, and what are steps involved to design the OTBA report. So now in our session, we will not discuss about how do we create custom object, but we just see the existing custom object, which is already created. So if you want to know how to create a custom object, you can see my earlier presentations on the application composer. So in this particular session, we are assuming that we already have a custom object called Excel customer detail, and it has this set of columns, okay? And then make sure that your particular custom object is published. And now here, if you observe the right slide, so this particular common setup will be disabled if you are in the sandbox. If you want to generate any custom subject area, it should be out of the sandbox. Now in the left slide, you could left particular picture, you could, you could observe here, this common setup area is enabled only when you're out of the sandbox. So you choose the appropriate application, come out of your sandbox, click on common setup and expand that. You could see an option called common subject area. And when you click on that, it shows this particular result. It shows the result of like a, it shows the results. I mean, it shows the set of set of components, subject areas which are already generated. If your subject area is not available, you can just click on create and you can generate it. We'll see the steps in the next coming slides. And if at all, if you have modified anything, also you can regenerate the custom subject area. Now let us see the steps involved in creation of the custom subject area. So the first step is like here in this particular option, in this particular actions, or you can click on this particular icon to create subject area. So once you click on that, it shows a couple of steps, like around total six steps are involved. The first thing is it ha you have to mention the label and the primary object, you select the parent subject area, parent application composer object. So you may also have a hierarchical fashion of custom, custom object, but if at all, if you're having hierarchical one, you always select the primary object here in the step, and then you just click on next, and in the child, in the select child objects area, you can select, you can add up your child objects. By default, like in our case, like this particular customer details, I don't have any child objects, so I simply selected the existing one. If at all, if your particular, if at all, if your custom object is having any child, you should add up them in the second step. Okay. Now coming to the next step, you select the fields which you want it, or you can ex like exclude them based on the requirement. And then if at all, if you have a, if require any separate date format, you can select that in the fourth step. And then if you want to have any extra security, you can mention the sixth, fifth step. And the final step is click on submit. It will be in a processing state and then it will be, it will tell you the confirmation. And once this is done, once these six steps are done, you know, the probable, the step, like here, the status of this particular customer details of information here, it could be like in process status. But later on, it will be in OK. Once it is OK, once it is done in OK state, what you can do is just click select your particular particular custom object and then click on that, click on this particular button to publish it. Once it is published at that point of time only, your particular custom subject area will be available from the OTBA report. Now we could observe here, like when I click on create, like to design the OTBA report, what you can do is you just go to OTBA analysis and click on create, click on analysis. And here what you can do is simply start typing custom. So it shows a list of custom subject areas and then you can see your custom Followed by excess customer details. So this is a this is the you know like a, a naming convention which Oracle follows. We have to it prefixes with custom, then followed by your particular object name. So select the object your object name, and that's what you can design the or select the columns which you want to have it, and then you can design the report. Now we'll just navigate to the application and let us see the same steps here. So now we can observe here. So click on custom custom subject area, and you can click on create step, right? So I'll just say excess customer customer detail detail version two, and here you can just see customer detail. Click on next. Okay, I don't have any child object, so there's nothing available here for me. Click on next. Select the fields. If at all, if you want to exclude, you can exclude them, or simply you can ignore. And the fourth step, you just need to configure dates. If you don't have anything to configure, you can just exclude. Click on next, next. And the final step, you have to click on submit. Okay. So for now, I'll just click, yeah, we'll just click on submit. So it will take a couple of seconds or minutes.
Okay, so it's almost done. Now here, select the version two and here click on publish. So as of now, it, it has to complete the status. Okay, so let me just refresh. Okay, so as once assume that the status is okay, then you click on publish. And then after that, again, it will have a process status and then it will get completed. And the next step is how do we design the OTBI report, right? So I'll just navigate to the OTBI report. So click on create analysis. Okay, you just mentioned custom here. And now it shows the list of things which are, which are custom OTBI, custom, you know, like uh, OTBI, this one, subject areas. So click on that. So you can just select the customer details. I'll select account number. Just, just double click here, okay? Number, record number, that's it. So you can see that click on result and you could see the output. Okay, so this is how we can design a custom subject area for the custom object in Oracle Fusion using Application Composer. Thank you.